good morning friends today i am going to speak about that same topic uh, before going to discuss about the topics i would like to say some of the important things essential to uh, our life to keep and follow that things the great sayings is essential to build our life okay for the valver is enough valvum is enough to all the world uh, he said that tannai than kaakin sinanga kaavakal tannaiye kollum sinam which means uh, one who lives by his word uh, they must be killed by this word so if you will live by the uh, love and affection and we will be and uh, die with uh, love and affection uh, our life uh, end with peaceful unless uh, we will get lot of problem angry is that main source of disease to our body angry is that only uh, source or that uh, the power which destroy our mind and that body uh, spoil that uh, harmonious relationship with these things the sound mind and sound body affected by that angry and vengeance jealous due to frustration due to failure due to many more things so whatever may be we should be calm we should be silent and peaceful and humble in all situation to lead the peaceful life in this world once again i would like to say தன்னை தான் காக்கின் சினங்காக்க காவாக்கால் தன்னையே கொள்ளும் சினம் இஃப் வி ஹாவ் ஆங்கிரி டெஃபினெட்லி வி வில் கெட் லாட் ஆஃப் டிசீஸ் டு அவர் பாடி தட் டிசீஸ் வில் ஸ்பாயில் அவர் பாடி அண்ட் தட் மைண்ட் தட்ஸ் வை தி கிரேட் சேவிங்ஸ் ஆஃப் திஸ் ஏன்ஷியன் பீப்புள் நோயற்ற வாழ்வே குறைவற்ற செல்வம் நோயற்ற வாழ்வே தட் இஸ் விச் இஸ் தட் ஐடியல் வெல்த் மீன்ஸ் accumulate wealth with good health that is that the real wealth to all the people from here one who lives by sword must kills by that sword that is a saying of that many more things i would like to say regarding for this you know very well what is mind what is body they should be in good conditions and also we must lead that righteous life we should not uh, tell lies in our life whatever happen in our life uh, that, that is also that is very important things to sustain our body and mind so mind is you know that what are that uh, parts of the mind what is the function of the mind and uh, what is the power of the mind that mind frequency divided into the four kinds and the delta state theta state alpha state and beta state but all the successful people are working and doing that activities in this beta state they are consuming they are uh, utilizing maximum amount of physical and mental energy then only they are, they used to lead that better and uh, uh, better and successful life and peaceful life in this world without any problem but the rest of the people lives in this alpha state alpha waves and uh, the less amount of energy is consumed uh, at the time of our activities our work that's why we are getting less amount of success here in the beta state maximum amount of energy is utilized by our body and mind that is why we are getting that maximum amount of success minimum amount of energy is utilized by the Uh, alpha state by our mind and body and mind that's why we are getting minimum amount of success but in this unconscious state and theta state uh, uh, made and lunatic state because body and mind is in good condition but they did not have any inner connection but every night we are attain that taking sleep in this uh, theta state only that is unconscious state and regarding for this delta state is a coma state you know very well no the body and mind used very very less amount of energy uh, le- less amount of energy in the delta state conditions you can uh, observe regarding with that movie thora how many of you have seen thora 
in that nagarjun and uh, kartike eh? very good nice nagarjun is in the state of the delta state because uh, uh, kartik pour hot water on his thigh to test whether he has a sense and feelings or not sense and uh, sensation and feelings sensation and uh, feelings mind state uh, needs uh, zeals actions result enjoyment experience uh, experience uh, research uh, and uh, realization and conclusions these are that uh, sound mind states uh, uh, we must uh, have in this life from here when we are working uh, now i am going to read for this uh, regarding with this and when we are working in the world through our uh, through our uh, through our senses the life energy is uh, converted into the pressure sound pressures sound light smell and that uh, smell and that taste and that mental frequency is in that beta waves and after that conversion and depletion of that life energy or that very much on this high side and the how much level in the beta level the spending lot of very much amount of energy is converted into the work into converted into the light and smell sound and pressures and <coughs> regarding for this after that and when you are in meditate both conversion and excursion in the meditation state rest of all this beta beta theta and delta state is a meditation state uh, using that uh, uh, conversion of conversion and excursion are drastically reduced drastically reduced uh, drastically reduced and consequently the stock is gradually increasing and rate of conversion is also reduced reduced and uh, you come out from that state of tensions to the state of uh, peaceful state of mind so your mind gets so streamlined uh, that you are coming to that state of uh, alpha state theta state and uh, delta state but your mind is not in the uh, the peaceful state at the state of uh, beta state beta state is a working state ideal working state another states are at ideal working state but ideal thinking state ideal increasing energizing our body from that place it is that various uh, various uh, consequences uh, various uh, uh, it is a various conscious and would not be active uh, for example uh, the people the squad uh, getting alignment and also uh, and uh, acting as uh, as a uh, god and goddesses uh, speech regarding for this in the delta state is becoming mad and that uh, uh, theta state then uh, delta state is uh, unconscious state and you, if you sleep in that state definitely our body and mind is rejuvenated we can work in the next day with a great uh, and the effort regarding for this but in meditations we are able to maintain awareness even up to that delta waves if awareness we have even in the delta state then you are able to understand the entire history of the universe only we when we get into that normal human beings get that state of that delta position and take their mind to streamline their mind to working in that delta line delta delta lines so then only we can understand the entire history of the universe its origin state stells and its relationships with the physics biology psychology genetics and sociology physiology and sexuality so many things all this should be understood for that better and successful life better and successful you how many people uh, want that better and successful life uh, good and better uh, successful life uh, they must understand about that various level of mental frequency and which is that uh, which is that best uh, frequency state is uh, beta state is uh, essential all the people must work in that beta state uh, to get a success in their life uh, to get that uh, good better and successful life based upon our and work only next we are going to see regarding with this uh, 
our body is a, a peculiar and wonderful structures a labyrinth work of the almighty very confused work is done by the and god to create create for this and also uh, human beings used to sing that song regarding for this and i have made this uh, uh, body and the image of that a uh, girl with the glare of that tanjavur and padukote and uh, moon and uh, many other planets uh, and uh, like that uh, uh, regarding for this it is a labyrinth work our body so we must understand that kaya kalpa philosophy uh, that is what is kaya kalpa philosophy one is we have to just make our body with understanding of our body is into that uh, last three nines for this body and the sexual vital fluids life force particles and uh, biomagnetism and mind the mind and uh, body should be in good conditions because the sound mind is in the sound body is regarding to with this regarding with this and uh, life force uh, uh, we must understand once you understand that uh, location and functions of that mind and life force then we will be able to understand that activities uh, needs and values thought of others and uh, we can understand about others activities others needs uh, other values uh, other thought of other other men thoughts so uh, astrologers and other people and uh, working to with uh, all the things from this so we understand the value of greatness of nature and we will learn to respect the nature in every action according to that philosophy law of nature is that the whatever you do there is a result of based on your own actions own action whatever you do whatever you speak the based upon your own action own uh, uh, thinking uh, regard, regarding for this your own actions uh, the journey of life between birth and death uh, one does not uh, suffer or uh, the law of nature you know how to render your life uh, Uh, render your life uh, so that uh, one does not suffer make others suffer through the bad thoughts bad deeds we should not keep the beta state will not give chance to do that bad thoughts and bad deeds but when you are in alpha state theta state and delta state you can get that bad thoughts and bad deeds so try to be in that state of uh, and beta state at the time of working at the time of meditation you should be in that state of uh, alpha state or theta state you should not go to that uh, and uh, uh, and uh, delta state so the belt uh, the functions and of mind waves and divided into that four ranges delta waves belt uh, beta waves beta waves 14 to 40 cpsc the fully awake and uh, a yeah, successful uh, the man state is that beta state and alpha waves uh, Uh, 8 to 13 cps it is the state of the saint and disciple philosophers and scientists and uh, and working class people theta waves it is that unconscious senseless state or mad state for this then delta waves 1 to 3 cps the coma and deep uh, and uh, sleeping state that is also coma state the information stores when they were uh, at that lower frequency we information to store information store when they were at that lower frequency does not come to that mind but if they can remain calm at that time of that informations memorized at that lower frequency easily can be accessed easily can be accessed so we have to work more if we at the time of reading we have to read in that beta state uh, remembering it in the working in that beta state only we can access our knowledge wisdom everything to build our better peaceful lives if one can keep that uh, uh, metal frequency mental frequency below 14 cpsc gets relieved from that state of intellectual strength the will power and creativity and access uh, of that creativity is one of them so that to get relieved from that state of intellectual one cannot work in the intellectual levels below the 14 cpsc that means uh, 
that means theta state theta state alpha state is from that 8 to 13 point and below 13 point we cannot get in the uh, the state of intellectual strength we cannot get will power we cannot get creativity we cannot get in that state all these things we can come across only in that beta state so meditation it is practiced to keep uh, the mind at that uh, preferred level enables one to reduce that frequency of that mind to extend one's wishes such as practice uh, is called as a inner travel meditation is nothing but otherwise known as the inner travel inner travel it is a practice to increase the intellectual capacity intellectual capacity receptivity and mental strength mental strength it is known as that meditations or otherwise known as that japa or yoga or prayer or that namas that is called known as for this we can through the meditation we can increase that store of spiritual energy as well as that physical energy physical energy and a tamil siddha saint gives that art of kundalini yoga the kundalam means the fire energy power Ali means genderless. It has been that simplified by the Sri Vedatri Magarasi practice so as to be that suitable for all men and women in that modern age to lead that celibate life and the bachelor life and many peoples lead regarding the attained that because of the power of this Kundalini Yoga. Meditation is not an activity that need to be associated with any particular religion. Meditation is not belongs to only Hindus or Christianity or Islam or Buddhist. It is common to all the people. Even Kidan can do that meditation to increase their spiritual, physical and mental power to work in that beta waves. Without meditation, we cannot work in that beta state. So, do the meditation is very important. Rather, it is the universally beneficial practice to relieve that effort of uh, the stress and enhance that uh, memory and mental capacity. Uh, meditation is important. But to, through that meditation only, we can increase, uh, enhance our memory power as well as that mental capacity. That is why government steps to impart uh, practice meditation in that uh, schools, schools uh, call schools uh, colleges and universities uh, due to the activities even that uh, police station police department is also uh, required these meditations because uh, many people commit suicide because of this uh, mental uh, stress the stress by doing meditation we can relieve our stress uh, regarding for this the senses is reduced on one particular part and result that biomagnetic conversion is reduced due to the reduction of frequency during the meditations the mind feels peace how much level we are reducing are the frequency of that mind that much level we are getting that uh, uh, the mind feels peace so reduce our mind state and to get that peace to get the happiness to get that happy moment in our life the benefits of meditations the, the, by doing meditations, we can improve that performance and capabilities. Capabilities uh, for uh, perspicacity to understand the everything uh, that is uh, you want in means do meditation. Magnanimity, bear than my generosities or the generosity. Opposite is meanness. If you are uh, having meanness, means uh, that should be removed by only meditations. Receptivity, Paravir Kumpanbu, the resentment uh, should not be accept everything without any protest and uh, that is known as that receptivity adaptability flexible with all the people flexible with all the places that is essential to lead a happy life creativity uh, then only you can get uh, if you have doing a regular meditation definitely you will get a uh, creativity the education lead to that knowledge knowledge means knowledge about uh, yoga about kaya uh, galpa about uh, uh, my development of mind uh, about uh, and uh, other things mental frequency or simplified exercise yoga surya namaskar so the education lead to that knowledge knowledge leads to that invention invention lead to the creativity 
mediocrity leads to the good job good, good jobs radio to the peaceful life unless we will get a problematic life in this world regarding perceptive city one perceptive city one's experience in that past present and that uh, uh, present situations the effect is uh, Uh, in that future all the facts are analyzed before uh, doing an act if you are going to do any activities we have to think about our past experience and present situations uh, and we are, and also in the effect of that future you know by this uh, present action all these things we have to study about the past present and the future is essential that is called a, a perspicacity magnanimity means the world is full of egoistics the world is full of ego people the people it is how it is identified them egoist people it is not an uh, easy uh, and big problems uh, the person will never think of doing harm to anyone that is means what fruits do you your perfection yield you unless you uh, unless uh, uh, to men who who work you yield good the repay inna seidare orthal avarna nanai seidavadi if the people do that harm and bad things uh, you must do that good things to the people so that is the greatness of the yoga and meditations and human value receptivity is expectation leads to dis- disappointment it causes that anxiety worries mental imbalances and the regular practice of this yoga and meditation will enable the persons to listen to others if you, uh, the person and analyzes and what he says and uh, its uh, pros and cons that means its merits and demerits uh, and so on then uh, we will not stand against anyone we will uh, uh, accept all their statement after studying pros and cons uh, that is if you regularly do that yoga and meditation so we will become amiable person good person to all the people in this world uh, adaptability means uh, one may be totally comfort in his uh, hometown or country and he cannot expect that the same comfort in all the places he should become adaptable to any kinds of that situation if you go to china be ready to eat the center part of the snake if you go to vietnam she you eat uh, dog meats and if you go to to that uh, america be ready to and uh, eat that uh, pizza pizza burger and so many things uh, uh, rather than expecting idli with the satni sambar or rice with the sambar it highly it is not unless we will be killed ourselves then creativity the man never had an opportunities to think uh, uh, think beyond uh, his self so he always lives inside an umbrella one has to image all imaginations lead to that creation the introspection and meditations will make one's understand his potential and he will become so potential so meditation in stages kundalini yogas like meditation i like khayagal point is also the kundalini yogas divided into four states and agna shanti truya and turiya dirtam agna means to bring up that life force from the genetic centers to the fixes between that eyebrows uh, ones of the forehead and against the life force the shanti yoga means uh, bring that life force uh, brought back to the muladas to that genetic center genetic center bring once again from pituitary to the and the sexual gland uh, of above the level then turiya means uh, taking the center of the life force to the top of the head where in that where that final god is connected near to that final god bring all the energies like blood air heat energy particles biomagnetism bioelectrical force you have to bring back to that spirit at the time of speaking and acting uh, having many more activities regarding turiya dirtham means mind expands into that universe and get it to dissolve into that absolute space and the soul functions based on that opportunities operating center in muladhar and genetic centers so and the heart is that center of operating center of the blood circulation lungs is that operating center of the air circulation muladhar is operating center of the life circulation kundalini yoga is that process by which that life and center at muladhar activities and responding all the activities of that human body and mind universe should be regulated that is called turiya dirtham and many more things regarding with this so uh, once again i would like to 
ரீட் தட் ரெஸ்பான்சிபிள் லைஃபு எல்லோருக்கும் நன்றாம் படிதல் அவையத்து முந்தி இருப்ப செயல் யூ யூ தட் மீன்ஸ் இஃப் யூ ஆர் அ ஹம்புல் அண்ட் ஒபீடியன்ட் டு ஆல் த பீப்புள்ஸ் டெஃபினெட்லி யூ வில் பிகம் த கிரேட் லீடர் தட் கிரேட் லீடர்ஸ் ஒர்க் இன் தட் பீட்டா ஸ்டேட் ஸோ பை அண்ட் ஆல்சோ ஒன் அவர் யூவர் எனர்ஜி இஸ் எஸ்காஸ்டட் த ஸ்டோரி இஸ் ரெடியூஸ்டு யூ மஸ்ட் கோ டு தட் நெஸ்ட்லேஜ் ஆல்வா ஸ்டேட் மெடிடேஷனல் ஸ்டேட் டு இன்க்ரீஸ் தட் ஃபிசிக்கல் அண்ட் மென்டல் பவர் இஸ் எசென்ஷியல் தீஸ் ஸ்டேட்ஸ் ஆர் தட் ஆல்வா ஸ்டேட் தீட்டா ஸ்டேட் டெல்டா ஸ்டேட் டு இன்க்ரீஸ் அண்ட் ரிஜுபினேட் அவர் பாடி அண்ட் மைண்டு to act in that beta waves we should not always beta waves in all the times because if you work 3 hours continuously in the beta waves means the rest of the times we should be in that alpha state theta state and beta state is essential to increase the store of this mental and physical power in our life then only we will get that and a harmonious relationship between body and mind with that uh, sound mind and sound body so we can achieve anything whatever we are having a uh, zeal and desire we, we we can enjoy that feeling and sensations and we can enjoy that fulfill our needs and we can uh, hands down our seals we can do our activities without any problem we can balance with uh, we can uh, Uh, accept all our result of our actions then we can enjoy for this all uh, and uh, uh, all uh, uh, positive and the negative experiences experience positive and negative experiences enjoyment happy or the sorrowful anything for this then we can do the research with that past present and future and to lead that present is in good conditions towards that future then we can realize our merits and demerits then we can take the decisions whether we can act or not or be silent or means if you if you take that action for any any thing to do in this world means work in that beta waves if you want don't work means try to be in that alpha waves or in the theta waves or in the delta waves to lead that very peaceful and happy life in this world thank you gentlemen for watching my video and regarding with this thank you so much for uh, once again watching i i feel uh, you will understand about this mental frequency and we will discuss about this sina tannai than kaakin sinangaak thagava kal tannaiya kollum siram we will discuss about that personality development in that next video thank you so much bye thank you so much